now, the Big Two Local Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first with meteorologist Derek Sibley. Well, good morning, everybody. Here's a live look outside. Big Spring facing the downtown area, looking rather nice out there. We'll be able to see a nice sunrise, I believe, across the basin here because we're starting to see some clear skies out there. All thanks to that West Texas State Bank Sky Tracker for the nice image of the downtown Big Spring area. Satellite and radar picture does show that we have plenty of clear skies, though, this morning across the basin. All the remaining clouds are up towards Eddy and Lee counties, as you can see, approaching Hobbs right now. Carlsbad, you look to be clearing out down towards the mountains, though. We are still dealing with a little bit of cloud cover out there for us this morning. That's because it's pretty much just a remainder here of some leftover moisture would happen here yesterday across West Texas. And as a result, we do have more rain chances coming up. I'll explain what that looks like here shortly. Cooler afternoon high temperatures still persist here for West Texas, but looks like we're going to start to see a lot more clearing here in the weather pattern by this weekend. All right, so let me show you what I'm talking about here. We do have another chance of some thunderstorms developing this afternoon, uh, mainly down towards the Trans-Pecos and mountains, as you can see. West of Pecos around Fort Stockton, this general vicinity should see some thunderstorms first. And then as we progress through time, showers and thunderstorms become possible around the western basin, probably around the late afternoon to early evening before everything begins to move east. And whatever left over will probably impact Odessa Midland. But the northern basin here, looking likely they'll probably see some wet weather for us today and probably some uh, remaining thunderstorms down towards the south across the mountains by the end of uh, tonight. Now, as we head in, uh, speaking of tonight, the rest of the night uh, looks pretty good across West Texas. May see some cloudy skies, though, as a result from those leftover moisture and thunderstorms from today. High pressure begins to build in the upper levels of the atmosphere. But we do have another change, though. A cold front is forecast to push through our area on Friday. And ahead of that, you can see showers and thunderstorms. And that this front actually may stall over us uh, for Friday and giving us some thunderstorm chances here once again across our area as it slowly pushes its way off towards the east and impacting our area. Then you can see thunderstorms here remaining off the tail end of that front across the northern basin, and that may impact the central basin as well. So at some point here, Odessa Midland is, gonna, is going to see some wet weather, whether it's today or tomorrow. But 71 degrees here currently with that current temperature, and I do expect highs today to rise again here into the low 90s, 92 for that forecast high in Odessa Midland. A little bit warmer, though, off to the southwest of the city in Wink at 94 degrees. And we'll wake up tomorrow into the low 70s and upper 60s, as you can see. Meanwhile, Marfa, 60 degrees could be a lot cooler than everybody else. And tomorrow's highs again back into those lower 90s for our Thursday afternoon. So with those high temperatures here for us today, my forecast high for Odessa Midland is about 91 degrees exactly. That's still a few degrees above normal for this time of year at 88. But see how that normal here is going down now. So... That's a sign as we get deeper into fall, those temperatures out there will begin to cool down. And as far as that day planner is concerned, well, you can see we're starting off the day relatively nice outside, but another chance of some thunderstorms developing by the afternoon out there. And we do have temperatures warming into the low 90s here by around the 4 o'clock hour with those thunderstorm chances still in store. And you can see on that seven-day forecast, I do have thunderstorm chances here, not only today, but another chance here for tomorrow, a little bit lower, but then they go back up just a tad again for Friday, around 87 degrees for that high temperature there for our Friday and this weekend. If you have any outdoor plans, I'd say take advantage of it because I really don't see any thunderstorm chances after that front moves through, giving us dry air, stable weather, and as a result, some more sunshine.